If you ever have to bug out for any reason at all, whether it's a house fire, tornado, SHDF, one of the first things you'll probably do is put your bug out bag in your car. And if you don't have one, by the way, you might want to uh, put that on a short list of things to do. I'll have a video pretty soon that shows uh, the contents of mine. It might help. Now, I wanted to share with you one thing we have in our bug out bags uh, that you might want to consider as well. And that is a USB drive with an encrypted folder in it or a container in it, as well as the uh, VeraCrypt software extracted to it. Uh, it's free software and, um, and it's, it's the way to go uh, to, to do it this way. Now, the kinds of things we have in our, our USB drive would be home, a copy of the homeowner's insurance, deed, car insurance, social security cards, driver's license, financial records, medical insurance cards, birth certificates, marriage certificates, contact information, that kind of thing. As well as, we also scanned a lot of uh, meaningful photographs and, and put, it, put it in, and we, put, we, of course, put digital pictures in in case you have a house fire and lose everything. Now, I'm going to uh, have a link below that shows you how to, how to get that uh, program as well. And there's two ways to approach this. The most popular way is to encrypt the entire USB uh, drive. And you take VeraCrypt, you install it on the computer, and then uh, the only way you can access that USB drive is through a password. You can't even get in it. And the way I recommend it for, uh, for, for the purpose of bug out bag would be to create a container or folder within it that has, um, that, has that uh, uh, all, all of your important documents, as well as the software because you're not dependent on a computer to um, provide you the software. What if you, you're bugged out and you need, you've got a computer, you need a document, you put it in and there's no VeraCrypt on that computer. Um, you know, or, or the internet's down, you can't download it. So that's why I prefer that. Now I put, I, I did two videos in this. The first one is going to be like that, how, the kind I recommend for a bug out bag. And then the second video will be how to encrypt the whole thing. Since some people prefer that, it seems to, to be a popular way to do it. Uh, but you do have to have the software on the computer for that. Now, that I'll, I'll post in the description when that second video starts, so you don't even have to watch the first one, in case you don't want to. Um, and also have links below that show uh, different types of um, uh, USB drives with encryption already on them, or, or like mine, the, the, just our regular USB drives. And you compare the price, you won't believe the difference. If you buy one with this crypt, it already has an encryption program on it, it's a lot more. Uh, and then you want a larger USB drive if you're going to be putting videos or you know photos on it and that kind of thing. So without further ado, let's get started. This is the USB drive I'm going to encrypt. It's my 64 gig thumb drive, and I'm just going to plug it in the port and and open it up. Now what I want to do is create a folder and I'm going to name it VeraCrypt but you can name it whatever you want and then closing it up and now um, go online to Google and uh, search VeraCrypt and get to their site. I have a link below also you can get to it that way. Now VeraCrypt can be installed on Windows, Mac, Linux and I'm going to select <clears throat> the very first link for Windows, it's installer for Windows 8 and later. And then uh, launch the program. And I go ahead and close the browser. Now I want to select the extract button. and now locate the uh, folder I just created. And open it up. And go ahead and hit Extract. It's only 90 megs. That's not very large when you consider one gig is 1,000 megs, so it's not going to take much room on that drive. You can donate here if you want, and then finish. 
and there are the files go ahead and close it up and let's open up the USB drive again and now what I want to do is create a shortcut so open up the file go to veracrypt.exe and um, uh, right button and then shortcut there we go copy the shortcut and then paste it and now I'm just going to take a word document that I opened up and and put it in here that's going to be the container or the you know the actual encrypted folder you can use almost any file a, a video clip or whatever now I'm going to go ahead and um, open up VeraCrypt create volume and then create an encrypted file container then standard VeraCrypt volume and now go go find that file select the file that uh, the word document that I just put in like I said it can be any kind of a file there it is I just called it hidden folder or container it's asked do I want to replace it because it's gonna erase everything in it of course it's gonna become a a large file folder um, so next I'm just using the same uh, algorithm uh, for def the default algorithm now here's where I have my 58 gigs available I would normally put 50 but for to get things going a little quicker here I'm just using 10 megs the password should be at least 20 characters and I'm not doing 20 so um, speed things along here so it's gonna warn me now you take your mouse and you just uh, make the cursor go around in all kinds of directions and the bar on the bottom's red and when it gets green let it go all the way but I'm just gonna cut it notice the upper left corner you see FAT you want to make your selection based on the type of files you want to upload you might have to do a little research uh, I like to use NTFS so I just hit format okay it's been created now exit don't hit next because it'll just want to create a different volume another one and uh, this is what the program looks like go ahead and close it and close it we're just gonna kinda start over here as if I just plugged in my USB drive so I'm gonna open it up and you notice you can't open it because it's now 10 megs and it's not a word document anymore do not hit yes do not ever attempt to try to open your container uh, folder directly so instead just hit veracrypt and select file and then locate it there it is and then these are um, virtual drives pick any one doesn't matter hit mount and now the password hit OK and that's how you get into it and there it is so let's drop a file in it it's a little picture of a dog now always hit dismount before exiting because if you just hit exit the window goes away but somebody else can get into this file dismount then exit okay just put the USB drive in hit veracrypt double click it select a file oop I forgot to do this you gotta pick any of these virtual dri uh, drives and now password there it is all there 
and it's not uh, the software is not on the computer it's all on the USB drive okay for this next part I'm going to show you how to install Veracrypt on the computer and then uh, uh, encrypt the entire USB drive uh, without anything on it. You won't have any extracted files on it. You won't have a, a folder in it that's encrypted. It's the whole thing's encrypted. So the only way you're going to get in it is to uh, uh, go on the computer and um, put in a password in Veracrypt to open it. For this part of the video, I'm going to show you how to encrypt the entire USB drive. First, you need the program Veracrypt and uh, just search online, get to the site, download it, or uh, under my description, you can use that link. This will work with Windows, Mac, Linux. I'm installing on Windows and I use the first link, installer for Windows 8 and later. And then launch the program once it's downloaded. And just hit uh, install. Use the default pathway. If you want to donate, you can here. Otherwise, hit finish and hit no. Unless you need uh, more instructions, you hit yes. Go ahead and launch it. And now create volume. Encrypt a non system partition drive. Standard Veracrypt volume. and now you want to locate your USB drive then encrypt uh, yeah create encrypted volume and format it I use the default um, algorithm and it's just automatically defaults since you're doing the whole USB you don't have to select anything there your password should be 20 characters or more. I'm doing fewer um, because of the time and it's going to warn me about that. I just keep no for large files. I could put large files on anyway. And um, for the uh, file system, you, you research that yourself. I use N, uh, NTFS and uh, just move your cursor around a lot. It's, going, it's actually encrypting it and wait for the green bar to go all the way. I shortened it up a little bit. And this can take a long time. See, it's like an hour and a half I think I had, but I'm going to shorten it up. Just hit exit. You don't want to hit next. It'll create another volume. So exit. These are um, virtual drives. Just pick any one of them. Find your uh, USB drive. Mount it, which means you're going to be putting in the password. And there it is. Double click it, and that's uh, your inside of it. That's the entire USB drive. So I'm putting just a Word document in it right now to see everything works okay. I'm going to close it all up. In order to do that, hit dismount and then exit. Don't just hit exit because someone can go in and, and open it right up. All right, let's. Let's go ahead and uh, launch the program. Select device, find the USB, there it is. And now mount and put the password in. And there it is.
That's all you have to do. And I'm going to show you what not to do. This is the drive. Whereas the other way I showed you how to do it, you can open it up, not here. Encrypted the whole drive. Do not try to open it this way. Uh, it'll ask you to format it. If you do, you lose everything. And that's all there is to it. Well, there you have it. Thanks for watching. I just showed you two ways to encrypt a USB drive. Um, if you think it's helpful, maybe you can share it. Like it if you liked it. And um, uh, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching.